damn this shit is tight as fuck. So today I'm gonna show you how to get that dope ass kick. We're gonna use Steven Slate Drums 4 for this shit, but here is little trick. As you can see, there is two samplers. Both of them use exact same sample and don't have any processing but internal envelope shits. So first one is KD Raw, let's check that shit. Kick Black SSD Sample. Here is the levels. Using envelope processing to get rid of unwanted sustain. And now most interesting part, KD attack layer. As I said, this shit is exactly the same, but this time room channel is turned off and envelope settings are pretty extreme, check this out. Damn this shit is tight. This way we add attack to KD main kick without using envelope shapers or compressors, check out the difference. Also check out the levels. Both of them shits are rooted to KD bus. First thing here is this little ass EQ, just to reduce two problem zones which becomes pretty obvious with full processing chain. Check this shit. Next EQ. Original sample sounded kinda too scoop to me, so I did pretty extreme boosts on low mids to fix this problem. Also couple boosts on higher mids to make it brighter. couple of drops in problem zones. High cut filter to decrease very very high end and make our kick just a bit smoother. And now most interesting part, we're going to replace fundamental frequency of kick from 50 Hz to 70 Hz. So we cut out old 50 Hz fundamental.
and now bring it back with our bass exciter, which works on 70 Hz. NLS in mic mode with pretty extreme amount of drive and extreme amount of balls. Check that shit. EQ for final polishing. Please notice output level of plugin, I used it as additional gain stage. And last thing in chain is gate, using this thing to give just a tiny bit of focus to the kick by reducing that little ass sustain tail. So that's pretty much it. If you like entire mix, be sure to check out full mix review which I'll do in metal mixing guide number 10, you'll find link to that shit in the description. Here you will also find link to my Patreon page, just in case if you want to support my work and get access to my private stuff such as mix ready templates, packs of custom impulses, additional file packs for my mixing guides and other fire shits. So hope you learned thing or two from this little last tutorial. See you next time.